That is Girl on the Go and today I will be sharing with you guys that I have recently ordered from Amazon that is a set of brush and it is rated 4.5 in Amazon and I have got it in like a really affordable price anyone can buy that so I have just received the parcel and uh, let's not wait and get into the video so first this is the person that i have received from amazon this is like a very basic person and the price that i had to pay for the set of brushes are, are 461 so uh, it, it also includes the delivery charges and this is quite light so let's not wait I have brushes, these are makeup brushes and like um, I do use makeup brushes and I got to like get this in a very very affordable price so I thought why not just let's give it a try and see how the quality is because the reviews were really really good so okay The slip or uh, the invoice. So the actual cost of the brushes was uh, 421 rupees, and I had to pay a uh, delivery charge with that, as it was under 500. Uh, so the brush set comes in something like this. So this is a plastic packet. Let's open it. Okay, this is a sealed packet. I have to cut it. So. Smells quite chemically, like very chemically. Okay, again, it is wrapped in like a plastic bag, but this one is a sticky one. Yeah, it's a sticky one. So, okay, this is the actual package or the brush bag, and it's obviously it's a faux leather, but it feels quite good actually. It's like white, uh, like you not know. No, good quality it's not that flimsy so let's open okay so this is the brush set this is how it looks I'll insert the clip you can see I have received 24 set of brushes yeah 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So I'll be talking about each and every brushes and let's start with the first big brush. That is, it's a fan brush. The brushes are also packed in this kind of plastic, you know, like a holder kind of thing where you can like put the brushes. So the first is a fan brush, it does feel like it's quite soft actually, it is a little synthetic -y. I know that's not a word, synthetic -y is not a word, oh, but you get it, right? So it does feel a little bit of like, you know, synthetic, but it's quite soft and like it will be like really good for highlighting purposes, like I really... Uh, was looking for a like a good fan brush for like highlights so yeah i'm quite happy with this fan brush so the next brush that i have got is it does look like a powder brush the packaging is quite sleek it's like this matte black color staff and then there is the bristles it's really good really good I think it's it's more of like a powder brush or a blush brush so yeah this brush is nice so I'll be using it in a very recent video or like I'll be using it soon so you guys will get to know how it actually performs 
So the next brush is an angular brush. So I think this is for contouring. Angular brushes are good for contouring. Yeah, and it does really feel soft on my skin. It doesn't feel streaky or like yeah, it feels really soft on my skin. But we'll see how it works actually on my skin with the products. So the next brush. Let me get it out. I can see two, three hairs have already come off, which is not a very good sign. So this is like a brush. It's like a tapered dome shape brush. So I mean, you can use this for like dusting off baking powder, like when you like baking your under eyes, you can dust off the excess powder, not baking powder which we use for. We're not talking about that part. Like translucent powder you use for baking under your eyes, you can like really get those off with this brush. It's really cute and it's really nice. And like you can hold it. the staff is quite big and like you can hold it nice. The next brush is oh the next brush is a foundation brush. It's like a classic foundation brush. Like yeah, it's a foundation. Brush. So we'll be using this foundation brush. I also have a foundation brush from Lacme, Absolute Strange. So I don't know how to perform. I generally don't prefer foundation brushes uh, while blending my foundation. I prefer beauty blenders or a sponge. So this is a packing brush like for eyeshadow purposes or this, is, this can be a very good concealer brush. Like yeah, this can be like a very good concealer brush so it's you can use for like concealing this brush is really cute and like I actually ordered this package for like uh, eye brushes as I really want to get some uh, good eyeshadow brushes so I can create more interesting looks for you guys and for me also <laughs> this is like a packing brush for eyeshadow So it is. So I will not talk about each and every brushes a lot. So uh, I will just review a little bit about each brush. This is also like a good, uh, you know, like a little bit of angular in the top. So it's more of like you know creating these creases, like crease defining brushes. This is like a really good crease defining brush. So the next brush also is a flat brush which can be also used for under eye like you know smudging those under eye eyeshadows or like, like cleaning those eyebrows very clean that kind of brushes and I can see it's getting smaller the shaft is like you know, thinner and thinner as we move forward. So I don't know how the rest of the brushes are going to be, but let's see. Okay, this is an angular brush. I generally use this kind of brush for my eyebrows. Like, these are really good for creating the sharp eyebrow looks. So this is for good eyebrow looks. So this is again a dome shaped kind of brush. Okay, now I am not happy with this. You can see these three brushes are exactly same hardly there is any difference and the only difference is that like it is a little more thick packed it's medium packed and it's a very light packed bristles I mean like there's no need of giving so many same brushes they could have like used uh, more angular brushes or like a blending brush the fluffy blending brushes you use for eyeshadow blending so that's not like a very good thing so I'm quite disappointed about it even this brush is also the very same brush like this four brush for some reason they are just same they are just packaged it in different thickness and these are like the same brushes like no difference you can see so yeah the, okay now I get it why the brush is that low Okay, this is a very defining brush. This is like you can use for like 
kajal or like you know this is a very defining good brush for creases this is a good brush i also have i use this kind of brushes a lot so this is a lip brush yeah this is a lip brush you can see it's a lip brush i generally don't use uh, lip brushes a lot but uh, for like darker shades if you want to define your lips and you are not having that particular shade of color as a lip liner then you can use a lip defining brush like this like this is also much more finer lip brush to define your lips this is like an angular brush angular lip brush they have given quite a lot of lip brushes These two are also lip brushes. Like I don't get it. Why they are giving so many lip brushes and like same packing brushes for eyeshadows? They should have given a fluffy head brush. This is a liner brush, like for your eyelids, like for various wink lines. And okay, this is a sponge. Generally, what we get for um those eyeshadow palette brushes that we generally don't use but this are really good for like giving those corners highlighters like this 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 is like it really reaches there and it's soft it doesn't poke your eyes so these are really good for for those uh, inner corner highlights this is exactly the brush that we get in every eyeshadow palette for packing generally uh, these glitters or metallic colors uh, doesn't uh, do really good if you're using a brush uh, but it really does good if you're using a sponge and it mimics the way your finger works when you apply eyeshadow like on the metal shades which is much easier to pick up with this kind of sponge brushes so this is another fan brush this is but a very much thinner one you can see the difference obviously the difference is huge this one you can use for highlighting definitely a more sharper way and this one you can use like you know like more general purpose we just to give a, like a flush of um, powder or like you know clean your face or like if you want to do like a really casual very light highlighters then you can go with this and for a very sharp look you can go with this kind of fan brushes okay then we are only left with two brushes and i needed a spoolie spoolie is so versatile it's extremely important just not for your mascaras but also for your eyebrows like it really creates this good eyebrows like you know spoolie makes a huge difference and this is also used for like for your eyebrows like for like combing yeah the eyebrow brush so that's it i'm done with all the brushes you can see it's empty so i was hoping that i would be getting a little more variety of brushes for my eyeshadows and for my eye looks but i am quite disappointed on that note because i saw a few brushes were just repeating itself for like two eyes three eyes or four times so that's like a down thing for me but in general in this price range getting um 24 brushes it's amazing and for beginners who are just started using makeup they don't look for like this uh, all purpose fancy brushes which are expensive uh, for them this kit is extremely good like you can start off with this and then slowly you can invest on your brushes when you are really into makeup or you want to try makeup you know much you know much wider and like you know variety of way sorry not variety of way various ways so you can use these brushes for beginners it's really good so that's it guys i'll be using these brushes very soon on my face then you guys will get to know much detailed uh, reactions about these brushes or my reactions towards these brushes so that's it guys 
today it's all about the brushes and the package that I have received from Amazon and that's it bye guys love you for everything and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and like this video and if you like this kind of video and if you think it's helpful then don't forget to share it with your friends and family bye guys love you